wonderful people viewers and subscribers and welcome back again it all happened again no p2b had come up again to make another eye-opening remarks during a media chat he had with bbc now i want you to listen to this man attentively then you understand that there are forces behind this man that if nigerian people fail to make him their president <laughs> watch there's no way if i say for example i'm going to ensure that i secure unite nigeria i'm going to govern by consensus loud and coercive and all this it's for you to check the past and say this man who is saying this he's passed through some offices or places can we check what he did while he was there let me give you a, a few um places where the nigeria as a country is suffering at the moment you know and since you said you, you have some of these solutions let's you know maybe you can briefly uh, i'm going to name about three or four aspects of the country now on how you're going to solve these issues so i'm going to start with security i'm going to talk with, um, go on to education where the schools universities have been closed in nigeria now for the past um, nine months or thereabouts the number one priority today in Nigeria is the issue of security because it's impacting on our it's become an existential issue for Nigeria you can't talk about being a country unless you're secured unless your citizens are secured so it's an existential issue that must be dealt head-on decisively it's also something that it, if you deal with today, you can deal with your inflation. Because the worst part of inflation we're experiencing today is food inflation. So if you secure the country, your farmers will go back, they will produce more, and the food inflation will come down. But how would you solve it? How would you solve this problem? I said it without giving you fine details. We have to immediately review and restore structure the entire security architecture. Make it responsive and responsible. Responsive is that they will deal with issues as quickly as possible. Responsible is that somebody is in charge and if he's not doing it, don't wait. The person will go. By any standards in Nigeria, you're a very wealthy man. You know, you've done well for yourself. Um, a lot of your wealth in the country comes through importation. You import goods into the country, goods that are needed in the country. But now, one of the things you say you want to turn Nigeria into is a country that is less dependent on importation and more dependent on manufacturing its own goods. And some people would say, well, that's good for you. You've made all the money. Now you want to change things. I think they're wrong. I said I move the country from consumption to production. What I mean by that is that I want to see people wealth with enterprise. So if we say you're wealthy, there must be something you're doing to do. When it comes to, I was a successful businessman and I was involved in the whole value chain from agricultural produce to manufacturing to distribution. The what people used to see with me is the, the distributing part of it while I was in business. When I was in, in trade, I was distributing local goods as well as important to complement. What is important is that we want to move from, when I talk about consumption to production, is look at the vast land we have in the north. That is the f most important physical asset of the country today. If you cultivate all that vast land, we will feed ourselves, we will export. That vast land can change Nigeria. Mm. Do you honestly believe that, you know, you can win these Nigerian presidential elections? And I ask that question simply because people have pointed out to the fact that you are contesting against more established um, candidates in more established parties. 
your party doesn't even have a single elected official anywhere in Nigeria. People say your party lacks structure. How are you going to defeat these odds? Do you honestly believe you can beat these odds? Well, Peter, you're right. But it's for the people to look at the past years. What brought us to where we are today is cumulative effect of leadership failure over the years by the same people who are elected, by the same people who are in office today. So we're talking about the structure that have kept us where we are, the structure that have produced the highest number of people in poverty in any country, the structure that have produced the highest number of out of school children, the structure that have made the country one of the most corrupt countries in the world, the culture that have made it one of the most insecure places in the world, the structure that have brought about highest youth unemployment in the world, the structure that have made drug prevalence in Nigeria the highest, the structure that have made us to overtake India in infant mortality. That's why the fact that 1.4 billion. And we're doing. So I can go on and tell you about what this structure is all about. The structure that have brought this unit in Nigeria, that is the structure we want to remove. We want to bring a structure that will secure, unite, and bring about production-centered leadership in Nigeria, where we will start pulling people out of poverty, our children will be in school, where we will start ensuring that people get jobs when they leave school by supporting micro, small enterprises, a structure that will start governing by rule of law, a structure that will fight corruption. This is the structure we need now. So I believe that the people know what I'm fighting for. Where do we want to be in the world of today? The world of today has changed. And it must, we must be in the Committee of Developing Nations. Yeah. And that's what I'm promising. Good. Now tell me one reason why everyone will not stand behind him. Tell me one reason why you will not reserve your vote for this man. You heard him talk about the structure of impunity established by PDP and gazetted by APC. You now see why they are doing everything possible to stop him from being your president. The structure of wickedness that have oppressed indigenous people in Nigeria. And that is why restructuring this country becomes the paramount thing that will open up the doorway for the indigenous people in Nigeria to be free. Some people will say the 2023 election will make Omar Nigeria. And some people at the far right are saying, eh, let Nigeria, that is what they are praying for, that Nigeria will be disintegrated. But you don't know on the long run that it is only people who are alive that say they want freedom. We don't want Nigeria to collapse on the head of everyone, especially the ordinary people, particularly my own people, the Biafran people. Because uh, history has had it that whatever happened to this country, now we the take our head carry them. But this time, I will advise my people to retrace their step. Those who are working hard to turn this very wonderful opportunity that the Nigerian people have from the east, north, west and south coming together to say it is this man they are routing for. Do not stand on the way. It is good enough that you say, ah, I am not voting, but don't attempt to stop others from doing or discharging their rightful obligation and rights as well. It's their right. Okay? So do not expect that it is when Nigeria boils, burns to ashes, that is when you will have your freedom. It is only people who are alive can talk about freedom. And we don't want this calamity that will be for Nigeria if P2B fails to become your next president, fall on the, 
head of my people. And the ordinary people in Nigeria generally from the east, north, west, and south will be the victims. Don't expect anything other than what I just told you. I'm signing out. Please help me share this video so that it will open the eyes of some people who are still sitting on the fence or some people who are still on the other side, still contemplating how to sell their future once again for muscle of 1,000 Naira, valueless currency. Valueless Naira that depreciates every day. So don't think about that. So share this video. Like so that more people will see this video. I'm signing out. Stay connected, subscribe, like, and share. Drop your comments. And don't, don't sell your vote. Bye-bye.